Greetings from CES 2017. My name is Will Lin. I'm part of the Intel PSG Programmable Solutions Group, responsible for solution marketing in auto automotive business unit. Um, nowadays, one of the common problems for autonomous driving is auto manufacturers or OEMs are struggling with finding the balance between power, performance, and latency for uh, the object classification for autonomous driving. So today here we have a demo that has been jointly developed by our partner Horizon Robotics, one of the leaders in machine learning as well as autonomous driving in China and uh, Intel PSG. So the demo we're showing today is a single camera uh, object classification demo with the, a camera that's mounted here that's recording a video screen which is showing live feed or uh, recorded feed from the streets in China. Um, with the very busy pedestrian scenario as well as a highway scenario. Um, that information has been recorded by this, uh, o, uh, this Omnivision OV-10635 uh, camera right here and being fed into our ARIA-10 SOC uh, development kit. That information is then fed into the monitor that you see up front and processed and showing you know, the, the objects that are being classified. So within this classification demo, there is six models that are being uh, used, two for uh, vehicles and two for pedestrians, and a total of four types are being identified. So you have the red that is showing the pedestrian that's being identified, the green which are the vehicle, as well as blue for the free space where the vehicle is allowed to drive, and yellow for the, for the lanes where the vehicle is, is driving in. Um, for both the pedestrian and vehicle, there's an additional model, so sometimes you might see multiple uh, in multiple boxes on the same card. That's just to showcase the fact that the multiple uh, models are being recognized. It is recognizing the card at the same time. So this demo is running at 720p with 30 frames per second, and we're able to identify obj uh, numbers of objects up to 30. So that showcases the, both the throughput as well as the uh, processing capability of the FPGA. And all, we can accomplish all of this within a power envelope of 34 watts. So as you can see, this creates the this shows the, the capabilities when you go with FPGAs for um, object classification for machine learning that to allow it to offload CPU workloads to reduce the overall power consumption, you can reach a really good balance between power, performance, as well as latency. One more detail I would like to bring to attention in this demo is um, uh, is Horizon Robotics algorithm. So in this on this side of the demo, you can see that there is the inference positions of the vehicle and pedestrian based on where the vehicle is right now. So part of this is showcasing the, you know, the embedded optical flow capabilities within the algorithm itself. To, to sum it up, um, Intel FPGA is an ideal solution for uh, object classification and machine learning workload in autonomous, for autonomous driving. Um, from a power, from a, first, from a power perspective, we can offload many of the CPU workloads to allow the FPGA to he handle the heavy lifting for the machine learning part, creating a lower power em envelope in overall and reducing the heat that's generated. Secondly, the flexibility of the FPGA and the ab ability to deal with different types of uh, DSP precision without any um, resource hit allows a, a simple development process and for the customer to adjust that uh, as they need. And lastly, the latency of the FPGA allows you know, faster uh, reaction and faster processing overall. For more information, please visit uh, Intel PSG's uh, website, our automotive webpage, as well as Horizon Robotics webpage. Thank you very much, and I hope you're enjoying CES.